No tea, no wine, no shade. It's my two cents. Now I'm sick. Welcome, welcome, welcome to an all new episode of My Two Cents in the Sip podcast. I am your host, Yvonne Demisiaya, and you know, here is where you get the latest updates, advice, and reviews on random topics, advice, questions on women issues, and all types of situations, all that and more. As you know, guys, you can always get in touch with me or contact me on my website, YvonneDemisYaya.com, or reach out to me on my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. I am there. And as you know, guys, we are also streaming on Apple, Spotify, Radio Public, Google Podcasts, and Anchor. Yes, guys, we are all over the place. Make sure you tune in from whichever app that you post or subscribe to make sure you tune in here is where you get the latest all right guys we are back and our random advice question for today is well Before I get into it, let me just let you guys know where the random advice questions come from. If you haven't read the intro in the dashboard on Anchor. So my two cents in a sip started about two or three years ago. I came up with the concept from the Wendy Williams show. At the end, you know, Wendy Williams always do the ask Wendy where a person asks her a random question and she gives them her random answer off the top of her head. She does that at the end of her show. So I said, let me try that for like a whole show. So I was working in the office at the time. So I went to the office when I had about 14, 15 people on my team. I came there with a bunch of index cards, all cut up into squares. And I I gave everyone on the team about three to four squares of these index cards. And I told them to write down every question topic or situation they ever been in or had or needed an answer to that involves a relationship, um, a couple, a marriage, or a woman issue. So I had a whole cup of all these answers, y'all. They came back within like three minutes. Oh, I got some stuff to ask. So then I realized, hey, I got something on my hand here. <laughs> So I loved it. I love their questions. Um, I made them do it anonymously. So I don't know who asked the questions, but I made sure I let them know to continue looking out and listening because I am going to get those questions answered. Okay. No tea, no wine, no shade. So our random advice question or topic is, is it fair to try maintaining an unhealthy, unhappy relationship just because a child is involved. And we'll be right back on that. And now, our marketing moment. Our marketing moment comes from a wonderful wine company. For the health-conscious wine lovers out there looking for something they can feel good about reaching for, these wines check all the boxes. Wonderful wine are grown without pesticides, bottled with added sugars, vegan, low-carb, and low-sulfite, taking the guilt out of guilty pleasure. And we're back. Is it fair? to maintain an unhealthy, unhappy relationship because a child is involved. That's our random topic for today, and my two cents on the matter is, hell to the naw. I don't think you should, although my generation, we do. Why? Because we don't want the repeat effect. That's how I feel my opinion we don't want the repeat effect okay mom grandma you did it that way so let me try it this way 
Not saying that, you know, you will end up staying that way, but we're going to at least try. And when I say that, I mean, we're going to try to maintain the best we can that unhealthy, unhappy relationship just to make the kids happy because we think the kids are happy this way because they see mom and dad together. So since everyone's in the same house, we think, you know, maybe the kids are going to have a bright future because they came from a whole and not a half or just one parent home or things like that. But I think that it's not fair and healthy to maintain it, but I think we do try. I tried. I've had family members, relatives, friends that have tried and are still in the unhealthy, unhappy relationships. Some waiting for the children to reach a certain age or a certain maturity to where maybe the kids are able to do things on their own more or maybe the kids are off to school in college or maybe it's high school now. So now I'm not going to maintain it no more. Now I'm getting out of this. Or maybe they've worked through it to the point where it was unhealthy, but because they worked on it and stayed together, communicated together, it did work out. It became healthy instead of unhealthy. It became happy instead of unhappy. So it's different types and different scenarios for all. But that's my two cents. No tea, no wine, no shade. Just my two cents. No tea, no wine, no shade. It's my two cents. Now sit. When I think about maintaining an unhealthy, unhappy relationship because a child is involved, Guys, I really start thinking about Wendy Williams. And, you know, My Two Cents in a Sip was created a little bit about, you know, Wendy Williams. So I do think about it. If you guys ever seen the Wendy Williams movie to show, you know, her life, she had to maintain an unhealthy and happy relationship. And she decided to do it because of her child. And her child was not, he probably was young when it started. And those are other issues that we maintain and stay in unhealthy relationships. Maybe it's comfortable. Maybe we never been out on our own before. This is our first real love. Um, You know, there's other reasons why we maintain unhealthy and unhappy relationships. Not just because kids are involved, but when there are kids involved, it's tough to say that it's something you want to go through or something you don't want to go through or even to ask someone, should you go through it or should you not go through it? Um, It's something you have to decide. But it's nothing wrong with giving your two cents and opinions because when you hear things like that from other people's point of views and other people's perspectives, you start to make your own mind up of how you should be or what you should do in that situation okay so yes when it comes to Wendy Williams she did maintain it and she said the last time she caught her ex-husband Kevin with that same woman that he was with for 10 years clearly she said my child is 15 I got two more years until he's 17 I'm gonna do this I'm a hold strong for two more years until he is a grown man my son is a grown man and out there on his own I'm gonna stay unhappy for two more years I can do this and she couldn't she could not Go check out that movie if you can. I think it came on Lifetime at the time. It was about a year ago. But the Wendy Williams movie. And I really thought about that when I seen this advice question. So, guys, also, you're not just getting my two cents this episode. You are getting my mom's two cents as well. Yes, later on in the show, my mom is going to give her two cents on this random advice question. And I want you guys to stay tuned. No tea, no wine, no shade. It's my two cents. Now sit. And now for our Watch Flicks and Chills segment, we are giving you Paramounts Plus 
all new streaming original series, The Game, exclusively found on Paramount+. Plus. The Game has now wrapped up its final episode of the first season, and now it's time for you guys to binge it. And to binge watch this free, make sure you click on my link that's in the dashboard, guys. And you can go ahead and watch it on a free trial basis and then go ahead and stream afterwards. There's so much more on there and so much for you guys. So make sure you click on my link to get that free trial first. This is my mother, Barbara. From Barbara's Custom Designs. Yes, she makes jewelry, bonnets, bands, headbands, everything. She's been doing this for over 30 years. And I just wanted to ask her this question for my two cents in a sip. And this random question is, and I just want to get your opinion, Ma. Okay, so say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. All right. And it is, is it fair to try to maintain an unhealthy, unhappy relationship just because a child is involved. What do you think? Is it fair to who? To maintain the relationship I mean, who, that who, you're not happy in and it's not... Who, who should it be fair to? Because it's not fair to the child. Because if you're unhappy and the husband is unhappy, the house is unhappy, mm. the child is unhappy. So it's not fair to the child. How do you know the child is unhappy? Like, what, you know, you see the kids come in and they like, hi, mom, hi, dad. They're happy with their parents. Um, you know, alone, but but when the parents are together, are the parents happy? The parents arguing and fussing. So you really think a child is happy in an environment like that? That is true. Nine times out of ten, if they're teenagers, they're going in their room and closing the door, putting the headphones on because they don't want to hear your ass. Oh, so uh, you understand what I'm saying? No tea, no wine, no shade. But if it's a child. They're crying. Yeah. They're crying with the mother. Mm hmm So, no, they're not happy. Okay, and it's not fair and to maintain. And it's not fair to maintain a relationship because of a child. Mm. If, you, if you're happy in that relationship and the husband is happy in that relationship, then the child will be happy in that relationship. But it takes two. It takes two. Not just one. But you could be happy by your damn self, too. Oh, crew. In your whole house with your whole child by your whole damn self. Oh, crew. I'm just saying, if that's what's going to make you happy, mm. that would make the child happy, too. And that would be fair. And that would be fair. For the child. For the child. I mean. I like that, Mom. It's a bunch of healthy children running around here that parents couldn't survive mm. the relationship. Mm -hmm. But the kids did. Mm. My kids did. They went to spend time with their father. They spend time with their mama. That's right. And it was a healthy relationship. Okay, I For like that. For them to see their mother happy and to see their father happy, other than seeing their mother just kick their father. Unhappy. <laughs> it was good to see you guys with different people and still be happy. Right. It was a process. It was a process. Okay, it was definitely a process. And everything is a process. And it wasn't happy wasn't when it did end that relationship we weren't happy but as the children but we grew up to understand why that did have to happen right so it just depends on when it happened well thank you mom so much for giving me your two cents on the matter and we're gonna take our sip all right and there you have it that is a little advice for my mom y'all go check her out on her social media Barbara Sweat on Facebook, Barbara's Custom Designs, and Barbara Sweat on Instagram. And make sure y'all pick up some tassel yarn earrings, some leather leaf earrings, and leather teardrop earrings. And make sure y'all look for that and more on YvonneDemonsYaya.com. Okay? Thank you, Mom. Say bye. Bye-bye. No tea, no wine, no shade. It's my two cents. Now I'm sick. All right, guys, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to episode three, which is our random advice topic. 
I want you guys to be sure to check me out on YvonneDemissiaya.com. If you have any questions, comments, or messages, topics of your own, make sure you send it through the message on the dashboard or send an email to info at YvonneDemissiaya.com. We are going to start using the hashtag sippers, okay, to all of our subscribers and fans of the podcast. You will be my sippers out there, hashtag S-I-P-P-E-R-S, okay? No tea, no wine, no shade, just my two cents, and I'm out this bit. No tea, no wine, no shade. It's my two cents. Now I'm sick.